through Craig bot just so I can have a couple of versions just in case. You guys yeah, that's good. good. I, you have eight answers for everything. I ask, are you using Craig bot? Is this it time to start the show? This is the dead air I love. This guy starts telling me about Do a I start sheep now? show. Because I know I'm <laughs> running the cold bot. open here. I don't know when to start. Yes, I gotta it's go already started. Well, if it isn't Craig <laughs> bot, he's right there. <laughs> Hmm. Do you not know Did what it, Mo? is? There's eight of you Did you start your OBS recording? Yes, 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 I started the OBS recording. Okay, <laughs> you gotta tell me these oh, things. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and no, welcome to the market. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. We're, we're just starting here, don't worry, Each I was going to... sounds dumber than the last, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> hey. Even, there's like eight hey. IQ hey. points between the four of you. Alright, hey, so, I'm a stereo's here today podcast. on the MoCast, it's been a while, we're back, I have... I have two stories for you to prove that I have a literal negative IQ to start off our show today. <laughs> Speaking of low IQs and all that stuff. I said, speaking okay. of low IQs and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I thought you were <laughs> saying something else. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so the, Terrible. <laughs> so the first story, the first story is, um, so my mouth currently hurts because I cut my tongue. And how I cut my tongue is um I was just sitting in my bed drinking a nice refreshing can of sparkling water. You didn't stick the just... knife with the peanut butter or anything in your full lawn in your no, mouth, no, no, did you? No, 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 no. This is All right, just check it, just check it. I was drinking a nice refreshing can of sparkling water, and I said, hey, would it be funny if I just stuck my tongue into the little metal hole? <laughs> Oh, and then I did that. Riley, and I cut my like a two-year-old. Christ I'm almighty. actually concerned that you drank sparkling water instead of you sticking it. Like I would have been less weirded out if you said like a can of Coke or something. Okay, we we might have to do a dumb dumb intervention on freaking Riley here. We might have to just throw wrestling right out the window and just like and just intervention on Riley here. Riley, why in God's fucking name are you sticking your tongues in, in places that they don't that doesn't belong? Too. Fucking why? <laughs> I, I was bored. I thought it'd be funny. See, the those are famous last words right there. <laughs> I was bored and I thought it would be funny. This is why there's a Darwin Award winner every single fucking year. Uh, you're going to end up I like know. people with low IQ are just anecdote machines. I swear. All right. So, so why in God's name do you have a quote unquote negative IQ? I gotta know this. Okay, so first of all, it was because of that story, and second, it was because of another story where I was at work tonight before the show started, and um, they have snacks in the break room. So I bought myself some Oreos and some Reese's Cups. Reese's and, Cups? Um, some Reese's Cups. <laughs> okay. I love Reese's. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I, I had them, and I was sitting near my friends, and I'm like, hey, guys, what if I ate? an Oreo and a Reese's cup at the same time. And they were like, do it. And I did it. Now I'm a telemarketer. So this whole time I'm dialing the phone. Cause if you're not constantly dialing the phone, you get in trouble. But most times people don't answer. Like people only like maybe a 10th of the numbers I dial actually answer me. Mm. So I stick the Oreo and the Reese's cup in my mouth and I'm chewing. This takes up like my entire mouth and somebody answers the phone <laughs> <laughs> so I had to spit this wad of like chocolate grossness into my hand so I could talk to this person. Oh dear God! And they didn't even buy it from me. I'm so pissed. You should have just I'd kept sit. it all in and like asked him anyway. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th that might have been a skosh better than what you actually did, which is fail to sell anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wouldn't have uh, sold anyway. <laughs> uh, Riley, dear God, I would pray for you, but I don't think that would work. Well, you know, and I, I hate didn't to be sell that anything blunt. tonight. It, tonight was horrible. I hate it tonight. I hate what? every night. What? I hate having a job. Well, I want to be got... a kid again. Yeah, well, you can't be a kid. None <laughs> of us get to be fucking kids anymore. Okay, <laughs> none of us do. Yeah, none man. of us do. All yeah, right, I'm, I'm still in high school, and I don't feel like a kid. I'll never be a kid again. <laughs> No, you're gonna Cher regret cherish saying that. Those, oh, yeah. Cherish those moments. Cherish no, those I moments. I am. Trust me, I'm trying to, but like right now, not very easy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and uh, start the show here. A one, a two, a skiddly diddly, a do. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for coming back. 
What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity, and joining me today after this long, long break, uh, I'll go ahead and just uh, take responsibility for that. That was kind of my bad. See, I went through this trip, and we didn't do the fucking episodes I said that we were going to do, and uh, so, yeah, so just blame me if you want to yell at me on all your little social media applications. I mean, you can also blame me and Robin, because we were going to do an episode without Mo, and then we just didn't <laughs> yeah we were actually we very close to having an episode uh, a moless mo cast which is you know really weird but hey I- i'm into it the whatever cast. you guys were doing the cast oh uh, my God. yeah so anyway so i think introductions are in order just in case you're new here and just uh this is your first episode or whatever i would like to say uh hello to my two co-hosts uh robin say what's up What's up? Hello. I'm back. I'm yes. alive. Yes, we are all back. We all made it through the hurricanes and, and jobs and plagues and all that. Yeah, the yeah. whole pandemic thing that is happening. Oh, yeah. You know, like, let's just, uh just Jesus. Yeah, uh, you guys aren't dead yet. Yeah, we ain't dead yet. And i like to say hi to uh, Riley, Mr. Riley Brooks. Say what's it's up, buddy. It's been 10,000 years. We finally returned to the realm of the MoCats. Yes, we have gone back to the sovereign nation of Ohio. And here we stand. <laughs> here we are. This is some great branding, I gotta say. Mm-hmm. Mo well, dude, it turns out that Mo is quite wordy. Like, you can put a yeah. bunch of stuff in it. You know, like, this is the Mo cast, uh, Mo Ohio, Mo Better Bread, you know, stuff like that. Mohawk? Just, yeah, Mohawk, you know, all sorts of stuff. And uh, joining me is another uh, guest. Uh, have you ever been on the show, Camel? No, I haven't. Uh, Camel right. BFU. Just uh, just in here because I've spoken to Asterios before. I don't know if this is if Asterios is still here. But, I think uh, he's still here. The 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 Robo Urkel has still has the green circle around it. I was going to save him for last because he's actually the big guest that we've been that we booked. So yeah, that's if right. I, yeah. If I'm the big guest, you guys are in serious trouble. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, uh, joining us today is Asterius Kokono. Say what's up, dude. Hey guys, uh, thank you so much for having me, Mo. I, I unironically wow, like it's me, Asterius Kokono. Riley, <laughs> shut up! Shut the fuck up! You shut the hell up now! All right, sorry, Asterius. <laughs> wow. No, I'm, just, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, serious, no, 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 ahead, no you're right. No, no, actually. No, Riley, shut the fuck up now. <laughs> I was going to say something nice about Mo. I was going to say Mo is... Can you guys not hear me? Yeah, yeah, we no, can, hear, can you. hear you. Oh, thank God. I thought I, I can't hear you. Don't, don't misdirect him. I thought some computer program took over my audio drivers. Mo, you are unironically... I can't a really tell what's nice... happening. Can you hear Ethereus? He's trying to pay me a compliment, and you keep interrupting him. No, no I bet I'm... some of these people can't hear me. I mean, no. Uh, no. I, I, all right. Uh, hold, hold on a sec. This is like eight oh nine. I'll I'll mark that down. Uh, are we having audio issues? Everyone can hear Asterios or not? I can hear. No, I, can, I cannot hear Asterios Coconuts. Yeah. Wait, you that... can hear Asterios Camel Toe? Yeah, I yeah. thought this might be happening. This what? is a, this... oh, shit. what is going Bro, on? Like, okay, here's Discord. the thing. The only thing that wait, 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 guys. Okay, fuck. Did, didn't this happen with CJ like three months ago too? Here's the thing. Yeah, that was the weird one where I could hear CJ, but nobody else could. I couldn't hear Mo. I couldn't hear um, or I couldn't see Asterios Kokonos' green ring light up, but I could hear him. I don't know. Shit, was like you could visually see him speaking, but you couldn't hear him. I, I could hear him, but I couldn't visually see him. Odd. This is very confusing. I don't like this. I don't know. It's, it's probably because we're recording we'll, we'll with Asterios Curse. It's okay. It's all good. We'll figure it out. We ain't got nothing. Yeah, you know what? That's actually right, though. Like, cause every single time that I try to hop in a stream on my computer, I usually have to just switch my phone because Asterios, whenever he's doing a stream, I try to call in through my computer, and it always just like d- disconnects. The bars go down to red. The Wi-Fi is cut out. I just can't connect. I've never had that issue anywhere else. It's just his stream specifically. It's just Asterios Coca. It's just, it's the Asterios Coca curse. <laughs> I mean, apparently, like, Discord servers can, like, cause that kind of shit. Because for whatever reason, when I had my, when I had my buddy Jason on the MoCast, like, a couple months ago, he said that Mo's server made his fucking Discord crash, so he had to leave it. Oh, weird. Jesus. 
<laughs> like whenever he opened most server, his Discord would just crash. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Alright, I think Christ. we I think we might have to do a Discord call instead of just the Discord server. Yeah, maybe let's create like a bootleg group chat or, or something. Or maybe you want me to boot Craig? No, um, I'm at poor Craig. Don't don't oh. scrap what we have so far. I like oh, that. Right. Oh, yeah. No, 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 Craig yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm not I'm not scrapping anything. Okay. Yeah. Craig's not the issue. It's just somehow a stereo. So I don't know. No, it's a Discord problem. Like I said, there was one time where we had fucking Cripple Jesus on here, and I could hear him, but nobody else could. So the whole time I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear Stereo. him right now. Stereo, speak. Okay. Camel. Yeah. Stereo! Hear me. Camel? I can hear you. Okay, Mo. Yeah, I can hear you, buddy. Riley? Yep. Robin? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, thank God. I don't know what the issue was. I, I was using Audacity to, like, to, to you know, locally record. Mm -hmm. I think it was it was like eating the audio driver. So maybe can uh, can we just trust that uh, this robot's gonna record my side, and then you guys are backing it up with OBS? Yeah, I'm I'm backing my side up with OBS, and I got the entire everyone's conversation going. Oh, okay, good. I'm talking through like a like the highest quality mic I can. So I bet Craig's recording won't sound like awful. Craig's actually pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like the flack file will sound good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay, good. Hey, uh, well, do you guys you want to clap us in and we can just take it from when Mo introduced me? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, man. That'll sound uh, that sounds perfectly fine. Uh, you guys good with that? Yeah, sure. All right, yeah, I'm doing sure. the editing anyway, so you know it's this is all on yeah, me exactly. to make it sound good. All can be fixed. <laughs> in, all can be fixed in post. Right. Right. Perfect. All right, uh, I'll count us down then, Asterios, and then, you, then you can go. I'll just edit it in post. Excellent. All right, uh, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I thought we were doing the silent. Hang on. <laughs> oh. Hang on. When are we clap? What, what number are we clapping on? We got. We got to do this one. right. Oh, clap. One. No, because I just thought don't we're, say I, the one. I, I'm used to the silent one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All I'm right. I'm used so... to the five, four, three, two clap. You know. All right, all right. Let me do that again because I've never clapped before. I just, I was just saying, uh, for a serious, just jump right in. You know, verbally. I mean, Craig automatically sinks, doesn't he? Yeah, he always has for me. Don't trust a robot. Never trust a robot for a human. It voice. doesn't sink. It just records all of our audios at the same time. Never yeah, trust but a it, human for a right, human. It's always work. aligned. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Five, four. With the silent one. Five, four, three, two. Good enough. <laughs> I think that'll be good enough. <laughs> Campbell, you didn't no, do it. <laughs> get on with it. All right, all right, all right. And joining us today is Asterios Kokono. Say what's up, dude. Hey, Mo. How you doing? Hey, everybody. Thanks for having me on the show. Mo, unironically, are you like a radio guy? You sound really good. Uh, Once upon a time, I really wanted to get into radio, but then the internet happened and MP3s happened, so that shot that dream all to hell. <laughs> did you at least do like college radio or you sound good man i'm just saying well thank you man i appreciate you i appreciate you we we actually did a bunch of uh uh voiceover work in college me and some friend, friends of ours did uh i've released like four or five freaking diy albums i've 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 been in audio for a long time not terribly professionally though just the maybe the top of the bottom line of amateur fucking audio people you know what i mean the best of the worst you could say. You could be yeah. a wrestling <laughs> announcer. Yes, I, I would I would have loved actually to have been a wrestling announcer. It's it's kind of funny, Asterios, that you talk about uh uh you know all this stuff because mm -hmm. I got into uh, uh the announcing and voice of work because of a uh, professional wrestler announcers and uh, uh talk radio and all that stuff. And um, uh, yeah, I'm a huge I'm a huge fan of both. Uh, I'm a gigantic fan of wrestling and it sucks because I am someone who I want to be a wrestling manager so bad. Like, I know I could do it. I know I could walk out there and talk about why this guy's the best and he'll beat the hell out of you. And then <laughs> I, if I need to get hurt a little bit, I could fall down and get hurt. Like, but the, you can't, there's not like a wrestling manager school. There's no like wrestling announcer school. Like, 
You go to school to be a wrestler, and then when you're not good enough to be a wrestler, you get to do something else? So now I'm going to be like the 40-year-old guy at wrestling school. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Dude, uh, All right, Mo. What, what's up? Mo, so you wanna you wanted to be a wrestling announcer. You like wrestling announcing, right? I wanna know I wanna know how you would sound if you were a wrestling announcer. So imagine imagine right now that Asterios and Camel are about to wrestle. You gotta announce them in. You gotta give us oh, your shit. wrestling announcement. You I want your best are you ready to rumble? Oh well, I can't be too loud. I got people in the other room here, but uh, oh. I'll I'll try to do my I'll try to do uh, uh, my best. Since you put me on the spot here and I couldn't prepare, this is what uh, this is what the best you're getting though. Uh, uh let's see. Uh, <laughs> oh no, uh, the, the nervous camel, uh... camel. How much do you weigh? How much do I weigh? Yeah, just like just ballpark it. You ain't gotta give me like an approximate. Just give me approximate. I don't know. I'm sorry. Like maybe like a hundred something. Hundred. Okay, we're going to say 175. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll just try to do 175 so I have something to base it. Uh, Asterios, let's just call you like 220. Okay, or maybe. Oh my god, I, that's I almost exactly correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 214. Wait a minute. Could you, what if you're one of those guys at the carnival that guesses weight? Wait, go around. Guess everyone's weight right now. For, okay, look, forget this wrestling announcer thing. Clearly no your mom and dad are in the room. Clearly, like, your mom and dad are in the room, and, like, you can't do, like, we're in this corner. Look, yeah. I can't either. I, it's, like, 11 p.m. where I am. I can't get right. too loud. All right, guess everybody's weight. Guess everybody's weight. All right, Robin, I'm going to go ahead and say, like, what? Uh, 105. One, well, like, a 105, uh, maybe a, a 130, 145-ish, maybe? Oh, God, not even close. Not even 105, close. 110, like like 285. Oh damn! Uh, all right, wow. all right, all right. Okay. <laughs> okay, Riley, no. Riley, Riley. All right. So yeah, you up? and I, you and I have had extensive conversations about our weight. So I think I have a really good ballpark. So just like let me, let, just give me some leeway. You know, be, between okay, flattering and kidding. insulting. All right. 195. Okay, let's say. <laughs> 310. Um, no. I'm like, I'm some, I haven't weighed myself in a while, but I know I'm somewhere in the range of 370 to 400. Okay. Hold. <clears throat> Who brought up weight in the first place? I think this is you. No, I wait, wait, wait. That, that was, was me. No. No, no, no. No, I'm trying to get everybody Mo, live on the Mo. podcast. Mo wanted uh, yeah, to I know think someone's so. weight so they could do the wrestling bit. That Riley saddled Mo with. <laughs> Riley, this is your fault. Uh -oh. Yeah, Riley. Yeah, Riley. This, Riley, is, this is this is a big. The reason we're all embarrassing oh, you right now is Riley. Riley, it's your fault. Riley, yeah, you're you're it's on you. <laughs> indirectly. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we'll, we'll go ahead and just uh, get uh, get past this. Let's uh, since we're talking about announcers and all that shit, I think one of my favorite announcers has got to be freaking. Uh, uh, it was Jim Cornette and uh, uh, Jerry the King Lawler. Uh, I think oh. those are the two, one of the uh, more iconic duos in uh, uh, in uh, announce uh, wrestling announcing in the wrestling announcing world, because uh, like it takes a whole lot to uh, just keep it, just uh, uh, keep fuck. It, it takes a whole lot to actually pay attention to what's going on in front of you and doing all the color from the back and all that stuff and. Uh, they they've never ceased to impress me. It's it, it's a, one of the best fucking things I've ever. It's it's one of my favorite things in wrestling. Uh, like the announce if the announcing is sort of uh, garbage, I'm not really into it at all. And it's really hard for me to get into the matches and stuff if the if the color commentary is not so good. Uh, Robin, who's uh, the guy who says let's get ready to rumble? No, that would be Michael uh, 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 Bruce Buffer. No, but Michael he's Buffer. A ring yeah, announcer. Buffer. They, he's not a commentator. They... That's a different thing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's okay. I just wanted I to make a joke you. how they hired him for the Dumbo movie to say, let's get ready for Dumbo. <laughs> oh, they did? Wait, they did? Yes. This live action Dumbo movie, he was in it, and he said, and like when Dumbo's about to do a circus show, he says, let's get ready for Dumbo. Okay. <laughs> Except I like that. <laughs> Now, now this opens up a couple questions because I think the Dumbo live action movie takes place in the distant past. 
So is okay. that like, what, I mean, or does it? Or does Dumbo go viral? Like, what year does this movie take place in? Uh, it probably takes place in like the like 80s or 90s. I don't think it's in internet times. Okay. Wait a minute. You're telling me that the Dumbo movie that's got, like, Danny DeVito dressed up like some kind of fucked up clown takes place in, like, the Gordon Gecko go-go 80s? I'm looking up this Dumbo movie. I think it's that some 1940 shit. That might be an example of my negative IQ. It might be a little farther in the past. Okay, because I don't know that they would have had those racist crows in the 80s. Oh, I think dear they would have, like, 86 those crows. All right, I'm looking this up. Yeah, Dumbo. those crows got fucking canceled. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. The 2019 Dumbo film. Let's see what year this took place in. In canon, obviously. Okay. The canonical year of the Dumbo I wanted movie. the canonical year of the Dumbo movie. Uh, it takes place in the year 1919, dumbass. Okay. <laughs> because it stars That's World serious. War She's One like amputee Holt Farrier. Hello, Max Medici's Medici Brothers Circus. It it has a whole. I forgot that that Dumbo movie opens with a whole World War One thing. <laughs> Nineteen eighty five. Well, yeah, World War One took yeah. place, right? I saw this in theaters with my grandmother while I was half asleep. Cut me some slack. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I'm sorry. I'm asking you to remember a movie from 2019. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's like I just got back from World War One. And now it's time to do the safety dance. I'll do the safety. You can dance if you want to. Like, what the hell do you think? Do you think this guy's like solving Rubik's cubes and wearing 3D glasses, talking hell to Max yeah. Headroom? Because that is a good Dumbo movie. Wait, why it's, am I shitting on yeah, this? Dumbo and Max Headroom team up. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a crossover between fucking uh, uh, it's the time travel, like Back to the Future, and the you know the Roaring Twenties. You know. Yes. Maybe Dumbo like maybe it would be maybe it'd be a quantum leap style type time travel. You know what I mean? I like I like this. I like. Okay. All right. Quantum. Can we cut this from the podcast? No, 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 no. Welcome to Mo and Asterios write Dumbo two. Don't cut it. Don't cut it because you mentioned quantum leap. Here's how we do it. All right. Sam leaps into Dumbo's body because he's got to save Dumbo's mom. <gasps> dun dun. Remember how Dumbo's mom dies? Wait, does Dumbo's mom die, or are I thinking of Bambi's? Mom? Probably. That's every Disney movie. The mom okay. dies. Yeah, right. no, I think the, mo I think the mom gets kidnapped and then freed. I the think mom gets, gets kidnapped and freed. Okay. All right. New plan. Sam leaps into Dumbo's body to stop those racist crows from appearing on screen. <laughs> Ziggy's like, there's an 84% chance that this is going to age really badly. You, you got to stop them crows. The crows. You just like murders them yeah. <laughs> and that's why they call it a say it with me everyone murder, murder of rose, rose. Yeah. Dumbo, two. <laughs> dumbo two time traveling crow murder it's time, quantum leaping time traveling crow murder and dumbo yes so he just goes like throughout it. He goes to all throughout time just killing fucking murders of crows, just groups of crows who are just sitting there chilling out, maybe with an unfortunate accident. But still, you know, I think they have the right to life. They have the right to live. It's it's kind of messed up in a way that— Racists uh, do not have a right to life. <laughs> yeah. I don't so, think so. Oh, my God. Okay, here's what we do. Here's what we do. Sam Beckett leaps throughout Disney canon writing the wrongs of, of Disney racism. For example, including the entirety of Song of the South. Of wrongs. Yes. Sam <laughs> Sam Sam leaps in the Song of the South, changes it to a much easier to handle Song of the North. Sam goes <laughs> Sam Sam leaps into Donald Duck and goes, "Hey, look, I'm not a huge fan of the Axis powers either." But some of the ways you're representing our Japanese enemies in this World War II cartoon are a little sus at best. Not well, all of them have been. Where Donald Duck is a Nazi? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, but it's a I nightmare. Think that's the f isn't the it's first? A uh, isn't the first Looney Tunes that Donald Duck shows up in like also feature Hitler? Isn't that a thing? Looney Tunes. Donald Duck is not in Looney Tunes. Or what? What am I saying? Warner Brothers. <laughs> yeah, Warner, Warner Brothers. Brothers, right? Yeah. Are you Warner talking Brothers. about Daffy Duck? No, 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 no. They both have they both have ducks with Hitler in like their first episode, ducks their first with like Hitler. appearance. What is it with duck? What is it with uh, like all 
old Cartoon animated Dust shit. And Hitler. No, all old Cartoon animated Dust shit just Hitler. being propaganda. Together. It's all just World War propaganda. Oh, that's... And I don't know why. Well, that that's why well, yeah, I mean. That, oh, hold on one sec. Let me go ahead and uh, blurt this out. That's when, like, legit everything started becoming really famous. You know, the Victory Garden, all that stuff, World War II propaganda. That's when. Uh, that's how they all got their uh, big start. Because before that, it was just uh, uh, handwritten, hand-drawn cells flipped over and over like a freaking flip book comic. And after they started pumping out pro-America propaganda, that's when they all got their funding. And nobody was like, oh, this animation? Yeah, fuck the Japs or anything like that. It was just like, oh, this is a cute cartoon, even though it literally has Hitler in it. I, I guess, I, I mean, I'm only 40, so I, I don't know what it's lived to, like to live back then, but I'm guessing that's just how the times were back then. I am You're only going 40? To again, I am going to again repeat. Donald Duck and Daffy Duck, neither was a big fan of Hitler. What happened was they took their zealous anti-Axis power stance a little too far for 2020 terms. Mm -hmm. You guys may want to look up here. Google this phrase. Donald Duck, racism, Japanese uh -oh. people, teeth, big teeth. Curly mustaches. Oh, what are they just? What are I they think, just no, yeah, Donald Duck talks like Donald Duck. Right now. Huh? What? Like, there's Do one episode a... where Bugs Bunny like was like making like just like throwing out racial slurs for Japanese people while he's giving away like like bomb filled ice cream to Japanese soldiers. Yeah, that's I gotta God, admit, God, it's I've kind of seen funny. That. That it's kind of funny. Yeah. And this is what it's just I would completely want. Completely offensive and like completely like like if you if you decide to make an animation like that today, you'd probably just be like canceled on Twitter immediately. But like. It's still funny to watch. Oh, not a chance. You'd be right wing Twitter would be all over that shit. Yeah, oh I'm, I'm looking at I'm actually looking at the pictures uh, right now. And I remember this cartoon. This is when they were making a anti Nazi uh propaganda or well not propaganda, but you 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 all know what I mean. It's him like I mean propaganda can be good too. Well, yeah, but you know, Blah blah blah. Anyway, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I, I I remember this cartoon. When, not when it first aired, obviously, because God, that would make me a lot older than I thought. Uh, but I, I remember seeing this uh, cartoon when I was living in Tennessee. I remember seeing it multiple times too. It's uh, you couldn't do this in these days. I remember. Mm -hmm. I remember Mo telling me about back when uh, TV was first invented, and he watched the uh, the, what was like the first show. I don't know. It's Riley gets slapped in the face by Mo over well, and over Well, he was telling again. me. Well, Mo was telling me before. Uh, back when he used to live in the caves, they used to hop in their dinosaurs <laughs> in order to get back and forth between uh, them and their friends' houses. Well, first off, you know dinosaurs don't <laughs> exist, and secondly, the Earth is only ten thousand years what? old. Okay, so I'll I'll thank Mo. you for correcting, Riley. I swear to God, if your irony or sarcasm button is no. broken, no. I'm going to paintbrush I'm you. I'm serious. I'm serious. What do you mean dinosaurs don't exist? What are you talking about? Have you never heard of this? Like, it's a big creation, this fucking, uh, 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 fucking pile of fucking China, you know, fucking nutball salad, man. Oh, yeah. The, the videos on YouTube that are anti dinosaur are so fucking funny to watch. Dude, it, <laughs> it, 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 like, it literally, it's like cow tipping for your mind. After you do it, after you watch it, you just feel dumber for having yeah, watched so it. Exactly. So, so Riley, I'll explain this real quick. So, yeah, so creationists think that the Earth is only like 5,000 years old or 2,000, however old they say it is in the Bible. So what they do is they all watch a movie like The Land Before Time where, like, all those dinosaurs' parents die, and then they just start uh, cranking it. They're like, this is the hottest shit. <laughs> Look at all these dead dinosaurs. I fucking love this shit. Oh, yeah. Jesus hates you. And they'll yell I'm things like, I'm not a creationist, and I do that every you. day. That's Riley. just a normal thing. Well, I mean, you might be a, you might be a creationist without even knowing it. You know? I, I mean, how old do you think the Earth is? Like, crank it to the death of dinosaurs. Wait until they see Ice Age. Oh, oh dear know. God. <laughs> The squirrel, the squirrel's gonna drive them insane. Ice Age yeah. is basically a documentary for these people. And <clears throat> see, and see, it, what they see, Scrat's nut representing is the mystery of faith. It can never be open, <laughs> but it must always be safeguarded. 
This is like this is like fucking Surprise, thoughts. I, this 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 is like fucking thoughts that I have on really shitty pot. <laughs> He's like, what if the scratch man he just like rips takes the faith or something, you know? No, so I'm just fucking around. Well, here's the thing. Scrat wants his nut, Scrat right? Is God. Why does he want the nut? Why does he want the nut? Why does he want it? At this point, he doesn't even know. Every time he tries to open the nut, he can't get it open. Now, every time you try to open the Bible, you can get it open. But is the Bible gonna just go like, hey, eat me? I'm a Bible, I'm a delicious Bible. No. Just like this delicious <laughs> nut won't open up for Scrat. It's the mystery of faith. Why do we believe? Because we believe. Now, remember that one time when Scrat opened the nut? What was inside it? Everybody say it with me in three, two, one. A second <laughs> nut. A nut. Remember, there was another shell in there. I hate oh, when I get shit. nut in my nut. Just like... <laughs> Just like, just when we think we've got the answers, Jesus changes the questions. <laughs> it's I think a, you're reading too much. Into it's a, it's a wonderful little trick that the Lord plays on all of us. It's Scrat is a representation of the misguided sinner trying to find the faith. Oh dear God! No, that's <laughs> not what Scrat is at all. That's not what Scrat, Scrat is at all. Scrat is the most devout. Scrat. Scrat is the apostle. Exactly. It's called the mystery of faith, not the factory of faith. There you go. Huh? The mystery of faith. The factory. It's not called it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's called faith, not fact. So there you go. So it should answer your question. If you're asking, like, hey, how could this guy die and come back to life? Shut the fuck up. That's how. Shut up. Shut up and read your Bible Just and eat this bread. Think about it. Shut up and do what the priests tell you. Just do what the priests tell you. If they tell you not to tell just anybody, end over and you just better happen. you better shut up. You better listen to these preachers. You're going to hell. I was You're going to hell. The Bible. Forever. You go out there every day and you chase that nut until you just get it. Until you get that <laughs> you nut. Got, yeah. How do you get the nut? You just get it. You just go out there and you shile yeah. above that shit. You just you get, get the it. nut. If there's a second layer of nut, just crack open that nut and get the rest of the nut. And who lets you into heaven? St. Peter. And what's the best kind of peanut butter? Peter Pan. Mm. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Whoa. All right, now there there are like parallels and shit that I've never even thought of that you're bringing up, man. You're blowing my fucking mind. I have to remember say. when the remember when the planter's peanut died and then was resurrected as no, baby, as a baby. Oh much like baby Jesus. <laughs> All right, we so saw him died. I don't think Jesus died. came back as a we baby. We saw though. him die during the Super Bowl. We saw him die. It was Wesley Snipes, Matt Walsh. And Mr. Nut were all hanging off that tree branch. And then Mr. Nut let go of the tree branch to save Matt Walsh and Wesley Snipes. Remember? Am I the only one that watched the Super Bowl? I do yes. remember. When Mr. I, I haven't watched the whole thing, but I remember that commercial, yeah. I mean, it's a 30-second commercial. Remember how they made Baby Nut a teenager, even though it was only a baby for like a month? Well, you know, kids are nuts age. You'll right. see. They grow up faster than you think. Nuts Your age. nuts will get you older faster first, than you think. <laughs> nuts age. Nuts, they... It's, things happen to those nuts, right. and you're not... Say it again. Oh, expecting it. They're getting right. weird places. Okay, so... Just saying. Just and the most important... Times, the most important like thing for nuts. any daddy nut is not to drop his nut. Just don't drop them. Don't drop your nuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's serious. I got a question. You should add, like, you. a... Mm -hmm. In post, you should add like a nut count, like how many times everybody says nut. Oh dear God, man! I'll be at it all fucking night. I'll be at that shit all fucking night. But no, it's serious. It's, all right, so you you used to work in advertisement, or you, do uh, do you still work in advertising? I dabble in advertising from time to time. Yes. All right. So all right, when it comes to like a, a the baby nut thing and all that, as a person, how aggravated were you? And as a person who's uh, in advertising, how hard were you when you fucking saw that? Did you see the infinite no, I opportunities? I just have an assumption. I have an assumption that sure. things that are aggravating are actually good advertising. 
Because it just I gets think, people talking about it. Yeah, it gets you riled up, and you're, like, thinking about it for the rest of the day. Everybody's world. talking about fucking Planner's Peanuts because the fucking baby nut. Nobody likes the baby nut, and it, <laughs> but everyone's talking about it. Everyone, Everything on everyone's mind is Planner's fucking Peanuts. The like fucking the baby, baby nut. kind of cute. I, I think that's what... what I, oh, sorry. Go ahead, buddy. Here's what I think happened there. I'll, I will be 100% honest with you guys. Um... Now, normally, I wouldn't be this honest in my field because, God forbid, someone overhears me talking shit about their work, but I don't think I have to worry about that with your guys' podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be hey, fine. Yeah, you, yeah, well, yeah obscurity, obscurity definitely works in your favor here. Security for obscurity. obscurity. Oh, yeah. Now, here's what I think happened. Now, obviously, it's a Super Bowl campaign, so they are pitching it a year out. Like, they're pitching it a year out. I know that the advertising agency that made the planners super bowl peanut campaign where mr nut died like that was their first big super bowl account was planters like like they'd only been doing digital advertising social media advertising facebook advertising they like their home run was planners they finally made it to the super bowl and like that's the super bowl is ironically the super bowl for advertising is the super bowl it's like that's where we all want to be um and uh, and so they have this thing planned out a year in advance. They go in a room and they pitch like, Mr. Peanut's going to die. And then we're going to bring him back to life. And here's the thing. Like, when Mr. Peanut died, there was a lag between Mr. Peanut's death and resurrection. When Mr. Peanut died, Twitter exploded. Everyone was like, oh, no, they killed Mr. Peanut. We miss you, Mr. Peanut. Like, R.I. Peanut was a trending hashtag. I remember and everyone that. was like, yeah, everyone was like, wow, I guess we do miss, I guess we did like that peanut guy. Rest we in really, peanut. Yeah, this is a trick that's used in storytelling, too. Like, for example, uh, in comic books, when a comic book character isn't selling well, you kill him because that pisses off his hardcore fans. Like, when Brian Michael Bendis took over the Avengers, the first thing he did was kill Hawkeye. If Brian Michael Bendis, if Brian Michael Bendis hadn't killed Hawkeye, and then later, of course, brought him back like a year later, I don't know that Hawkeye would be in the Avengers movie because it's like Hawkeye was like not always like a beloved character, but you, and of course they did the same thing with Superman in the uh, '90s. Like they killed Superman, everyone was talking about the death of Superman. It was national news. Four months later, they bring him back to life. It's a trick, but then here's what happens, guys. And I'm sorry it's taken so long to get to this point. Then we are hit with a double baby blast of baby Groot and baby Yoda. Yeah. And, oh. then, and I can see it. I can see it in my mind. The people in this in the people in this room have had this campaign planned out for a year. They go emergency meeting. Salivating. Let's throw everything out. Baby, let's throw everything out. We were gonna bring him back. He was just gonna be back. Like my guess is it was just going to be Mr. Peanut died, and then we were going to find out he was alive after all. But then they're like, let's throw all that shit out. Babies are hot. Baby Groot, Baby Yoda, Baby Nut. Everyone's Don't say babies fucking... are hot live on a podcast, please. <laughs> you yeah, that will be gonna... clipped out of context. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> clip that line out. <laughs> Let's go ahead. No, 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 no. Look, look, look. Don't worry about it here. I'll tell you what. I'll give it to you in a, in a little more uh, safe way. Okay, and three, two, one. Everyone's going to nut over baby nut. This is going to be a nut covered baby. They're just going to loo. Oh, it's going to be nut all over the place. Babies. Exactly. <laughs> baby nut. So what happened was they thought, so they threw out the plan and that, fu and that's what fucked it up. They Do should you have think... trusted their original plan, but they got they got baby batter on the brain, and like <laughs> they got caught up in baby fever. And as we all know, when you have a baby, it ruins your life, just like it ruined this campaign. Which is why they've had to like make him a teenager now, because they're like, oh wow, everybody really hates this baby nut. Well, we don't want to look like cucks. We don't want to like immediately pivot and change course on this. Uh, in two months, we'll make him a teenager. Uh, and like that. And then he, in a few months, he's going to be regular Mr. Peanut again. And this whole thing will be considered a failure. Oh, that was ad is aggravating advertising not a smart idea? Because I feel like it was almost better for people to hate Baby Nut. I don't know. Have you bought a, bought a bottle of planners? 
I bought a little like uh two for dollar dollar nine little planters peanuts. I remember the watching a video the cashews. By... Oh, sorry. I remember watching a video made by uh, iDubs about how he read like a label on uh -huh. a can of planters peanuts or trail mix uh -huh. or no, just like a peanut mix or whatever. And he's like, like less than fifty percent or less than fifteen percent um peanuts, and it's like, what is that? What does that even mean? And then he did like this full in-depth analysis and they determined that it should like say something like fewer, not less than. And I don't, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, I've seen I, that. I that's true. That's proper grammar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah and, it and it shouldn't be 12 them. items or less. It should be 12 items or fewer. Yeah. Like he, he stores like, are wrong them. and bad. <laughs> and a like a um, representative answered and was like, yeah, uh, hi, uh, I, I'm, I'm just calling to say how uh, your label is... Um, it's misrepresentative of this. And then they actually said that they were going to fix it, and they sent him two, like, free cans of planter's peanuts that are, like, Holy a different... Holy shit. Yeah. It's like a gold mine. Yeah, that fucking video was actually kind of amazing in a really weird way. The <laughs> fact it, that he, like, he, he got, he like, took... scales out into... Yeah, dude, he, he got really fucking crazy with it. You know, he, he, he took the time to separate each individual nut and to okay. make a freaking ratio of what to what nut is in those freaking mixed nut cans. And You could tell that it was pretty much eating him up the entire time that he was making that, too. Like, he was, un... like, he was like... You know, it didn't look like he rested very much. He was just, like, making it. Not at all. And later, when he was talking about how it should have been worded, he's like, it should have been fewer. It zooms into his mouth. Fewer. Yeah, COVID's really fucked a lot of us up, man. <laughs> we're, we're doing this shit. I think it's yeah, fucking doing, amazing. Yeah, like, in-depth analysis on how much peanut, like, all, what what the label should say of the can of peanuts. You think you think advertising execs were edging each other, you know, with uh, with language like, oh, we're about to we're, we're about to draw execs these. were definitely edging each other. Like, oh god, we're we're getting to the drawing phase. We're going to pick our projects later on. Oh god, uh, you know, just like right at the edge. Came back the to bite them in the ass in the form of a YouTube commentary video. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay, anyway. so am I the first one to notice uh, Stereos' nickname? <laughs> Yeah, mo mo most rears, mo that, that's a mo lot of mo 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 mo's mo 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 I, I don't know. I don't know who changed the name, but you know they went. Hey, I don't have permissions to. Oh, you know, oh, we'll fix that later on. I, I like doing that shit. You know, like just having a little bit of chaos. You're gonna give. You're gonna give Campbell who admin privileges. This? Who did this to Asterios? It could be Paul. Paul might have fucking Maybe done Asterios that. Maybe Asterios did this really to Asterios. Could. You ever think of that? Maybe yeah. he's trying to be funny. Oh, possibly. Oh, no, I didn't do this. Someone else did this, <laughs> so I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have veered completely off the subject of tonight's uh, podcast. Like I predicted. No, Mo, stop <laughs> trying to drive it back on the road. We're off-road, and I like it. <laughs> We're talking about nut. Yeah, the hot topic like, is nut. So you can't spell <laughs> nutrition without nut. What is it about quarantine that's got everyone obsessed with nut? <laughs> I you, don't, you, know, you don't realize how sacred the nut is. I really until, wish until you watch the planters peanut commercial. Oh dear God, I really wish I had that fucking little uh, uh, silver and red button that just has nut on it. Because I would break that fucking thing just going nut, 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 nut. nut, nut. 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 Like Every episode the of the podcast would like, so just back. be the nut button in succession. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, like, at one point, the, the button's going to talk back and be like, please stop. You know, like, you should go outside or something. <laughs> please have mercy. <laughs> please have mercy. Please no more. Oh, God. <laughs> <Get late. laughs> please have mercy. Please don't break me. Nut, nut, nut. I am, I, I am, um, specifically, or I am, um, like, es uh, I am estimately, like, 300 clicks from completely shutting down and destroying myself. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. You know, just, like, press it twice as fucking fast. No, 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 no. just fucking nuclear explodes on my fucking desk. Just throwing Stereo, all my shit save everywhere. Us. Yes, and please, for the love of God, save us. Well, I'm. Well, I mean, you can just edit all this out. You'll be fine, you kids. Never. You'll be fine. I refuse. I will fight Mo in they real will just life. They keep going. Any of this. That's that's okay. So, like, um, 
So the reason I tell this story is because it's like, yeah, they should. Which story? Well, see, see, that's the best part about what I, that's the best part about, now you have to cut this part out too. Because the best part about the line, the way I said it, is that you could edit it in seamlessly anywhere. Yeah, it's it's uh, like you know I can have them saying fucking every anything I yeah, want. Yeah, exactly. So so it's what I said. Like the best part about this story, it's like that. Well, now that you're asking me to identify the story, who asked me to identify it? I don't know. I what an idiot! In. Oh my god! <laughs> right, <laughs> I tried to save you. You guys are on your own. What a maroon nuts. <laughs> Anyway, so I, I guess does. What's anyone... your favorite type of nut, everybody? Pistachios, cashews. Oh, I don't need any. Yeah, I think yeah. you know what kind of nuts my favorite. The cashews, oh. of course. <laughs> yeah, cashews. You told me the other day. Did you know it that cashews. cashews come from the fruit? Right. Cashews are pretty good. I actually, unironically love fucking almonds. What about just... bananas? Did you know <laughs> that the cashews? You mean banana nuts. Bananas are nuts. Wait. No, they're not. Did you bananas know? Nuts. Hold that wait, cashews wait, wait. come from the fruit. No, they're berries. <laughs> Camel, you can't steal my joke. I said it first. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, it's this not is... your joke. It's from Tobuscus. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I made the referential I used to joke. love watching that guy. Who is Tobuscus? Oh my God! How? I... Mysterious. Please tell me you Didn't know you who like Tobuscus is. Sexually assault someone or? Yes, but that's Tobuscus. not the point. <laughs> Do you know oh, who Tobuscus is? Asterios this... Kokonos? And he hosted, like, big parties with a bunch of YouTubers where, like, the Kids React kids were there doing drugs and shit. Uh, oh, my God. God. What? what? I didn't hear about that. I don't think Holy it's shit. true, but it's funny. <laughs> anyway. Guys, guys, I'll be honest. I don't know who Tobuscus is, but I do know who Toby Turner is. Oh, you know, my God. Toby Joseph Turner, American Internet personality, uh, also known by his <laughs> stage name as Tobuscus, actor, comedian, and musician, originally from Niceville, Florida, best known for his YouTube videos, huh? Tobuscus. Wow, Finally, you've got an encyclopedic you memory. It's almost like you're reading that directly from an encyclopedia <laughs> or, or like... Oh. <laughs> From the, what what? From the Tobuscus from Lady the Encyclopedia. <laughs> from the Encyclopedia? You mean the Encyclopedia Britannica? I don't know that it has a lot of information on, on Toby Turner, my friend. Yeah, I, I But anyway, could... you know, he worked with Philly DeFranco on Like Totally Awesome and Cute Win Fail after befriending and being employed by DeFranco. Citation is 13 and 14. LTA was a gaming and review channel that ran during the late 2000s and early 2010. Citation 15. <laughs> Did you memorize so like, that, that, or are you, like, are you just in, in your up? brain? Is there like a little tab that yeah, says like sexual like... assault allegations or? Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I'll be honest. I mean, there's a. I could go on for four paragraphs about the sexual assault <laughs> allegations <laughs> <laughs> on this person. I could go on for four paragraphs <laughs> with one, Jesus. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 14, 13 citations. But I, uh, <laughs> but let's keep it light, huh? It's a comedy show. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Although, as a result of the allegations, Turner was replaced as the voice of Ant Man for Marvel Avengers Academy. So. Oh my God. He was supposed to voice Ant Man? Well, for Marvel a Avengers. What? For, in a for Marvel. shitty Avengers mobile game. All right. Yeah, like, for, for, he's not no. fucking king of everything. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's Marvel Avengers Academy. It's not, uh, I, you know, it's. Asterios could voice on a mobile game if he wanted. It's not, you know. Dude, like, anybody actually, with like anybody... a nice sounding voice could just, just go I mean, on and then like anyone's apply hiring, to be a voice I, actor. I am, I, 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 if anyone's hiring, I, I am open for work. I mean,. Allison Brie uh, was the voice of Black Widow on this, and John couple. Cena was the voice of the Hulk. Oh no, oh, shit! Yeah. Like this is actually a pretty good voice cast. Like I also know off the top of my head. You mysterious. You gotta take he some is. initiative. You gotta like call them up and be like, "Hey, I'm uh, I'm open for the job." Please let me voice anything. Please let me I voice. need money. Mysterious Kokodo says Tony Stark in Marvel Avenger Playhouse Academy oh for Kids. Oh my god. <laughs> god. That'd be fucking great. I'd love to. God, how would a Tony Stark hysteria, voiced by Asterios even go? Yeah, I'd do an like, impression. Do like a like, like a you know, like a Okay. Well, let me think of like one of his famous lines. Be like 
I'm Iron Man. Iron Man over here. Hey, what's going on? Let's, let's, let's Look out, Thanos. I'm going to be pretend. I'm, I'm going to pretend to be Stan Lee and okay. like in that one scene where he delivers the package. All right. Okay. Uh, I got a package here for uh, Tony Stank. Uh, and I got a package here. It's my penis. And then I would pull out my <laughs> dick and balls. I go, hey, old man. Hey, old man. And then suck Stan my Lee dick. gives Robert Downey Jr. a blowjob. That's I would tell that old man to suck my dick. I would, I would. pay for that. I would tell that old man to suck my dick. I'm not. I'm not. I would, I would like watch that. I'm not ashamed. I think I that would, would do it. I, you know, I think that would probably result in the very first man on man Me Too fucking class action lawsuit. Well, I think you might be forgetting about uh, Terry Crews. Well, there's but all and and also what's his name? Uh, the but Kevin Spacey. Oh, oh Kevin that's Spacey. Right. Yeah. You know. But again. But but hold on, let me make this funnier though. I'd be like, I'd be like, "Hey, Stanley, suck my dick," and then Stanley <laughs> would be like, "Excelsior, true believer! I can't wait to gobble up that that Greek guy's dick." Nom 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 yeah, nom. Hi. And I'd be like, "What a great cameo!" It, it's you know what? Instead of a cameo, we call what it a would cameo. You give Stanley, Robin, what would Robin, you give him? Robin, no, no, Robin, Robin, you ran over my joke, Robin. Okay, what did, what did I say? Robin, what joke did I just make that was maybe the best joke in this whole episode? Did you did you catch it? I did not catch it. Okay, I said instead of a cameo, we could call it a cameo. A cameo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh it's but even funnier the, the second time. You, also ran over you my stopped joke. right over my callback. I was about to say, what would you give Stanley? You'd give him your nut. Well, you could have waited until... Is the time for that callback in the middle of my punchline? Absolutely. I don't know about that. Serios, I did a funny when they said Kevin Spacey and I said I love that guy and you trampled right over it. Where, where's the funny? What's the joke? <laughs> yeah, <there's... laughs> that guy... He's, it's funny because he's not a good guy, but then I said I love him anyway. Oh, he, it's funny because well, he fucks want, kids. I get you it. Might, then you might want to say, like, now that guy's moral ass. Like, because we look, we still like Kevin Spacey. He's a good actor. Just he's a, a terrible actor. person. Terrible person. Big difference. So it's you like, gotta yeah, be. Like you can like him in like whatever he plays in like a movie. Like, you can like him as an actor because he's a very good actor, but like, you know. He, in real life, he's far from. He's a very far moral from. individual. He loves but am I ever gonna watch a Kevin Spacey movie again? Pr probably not. Oh. You're not gonna. So well, yeah, that's, 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 that's for that's next that's week. Like, wink, wink. He's like, he's like any other good actor. You know what I mean? But he has like his personal very dark past. You know, if he, if he, well, well, if he yeah, right. you make them. it sound okay. like he used to have a drug addiction and not like fucked children. Why it's not, not both? Right, okay. Well, that's the way you're interpreting it, man. I'm not saying anything specific. All right, l l let's just go ahead and get off this subject. I, I don't know how he veered into Kev Kevin Spacey having sex with teens uh, thing, but let's go. I, I want to go back to wrestling or, or something at least. No, we're not allowed. Too. No, you we're not allowed. Motherfuckers, we're, we're, I swear to God. <laughs> I want to go. All right, all right, okay, all right. You know what, Robin? Do you guys remember in 1998... <laughs> What happened then? What, yeah, what happened, happened that year? Something, something, all in a cell. Something, something, something table. Like Robin, I swear. I, I, I assume some nutting happened that year. I, I'd have to assume. A lot of this is going to be cut out. This well, is some of it's going to be cut out. Some of it's kill Mo in real life. <laughs> all, right, all right, okay, okay. Robin, Robin. What, when you were growing up and you were watching wrestling, what was your favorite federation? Which one did you love to watch the most out of all of them? Federation? Well, well like oh, federation for lack of a, for me there, buddy. Oh, well, like federation, like lack of a better the term. Who was your favorite? Of like, course. Federation, federation, shut up! Except... Shut up! Shut up! God damn you all, shut up! <laughs> uh, okay, your, your favorite, like, wrestling company. Like WCW or ECW or WWF or WWE or whatever. Yeah, like I'm favorite. Zoomer. I watched United. WWE. Oh, all right. All right okay. Oh, all right. I mean, now I just watch <laughs> UFC because, like, I'm an adult. It's like adult. 
I don't wrestling. really, I don't really care about UFC very much at all, man. Like honestly, like I, I tried to watch UFC, I tried to get into this shit, but it with like it, it used to be like really good promos before the match, but you can tell that professional wrestling is really sort of dominated, like a. Uh, that sort of scene. So they've had to like up the production values and up the uh, the intensity, so quote unquote, of those uh, promos. So every time I watch a UFC promo, I feel like I'm just watching a shitty wrestler that couldn't make hack it in a WWE. Well, or that's because wrestling's a, it's a, it's an act. It's a show. That's not to like downplay it. It's a it's good. Like it's good acting. And I like, you know, the bits that they have, but it feels like it started to go downhill. And now I'm like, I'd rather just watch people actually punch each other until they get seriously injured. I know that Dana White, the owner of the UFC, endorsed Trump for president. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that one time that Trump uh, got like, like completely fucked up by uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin? Yeah, I remember uh, when when uh, him and Vince had the uh, the billionaire versus billionaire match, and uh, <laughs> the loser had to shave his head. Obviously, Donald Trump's never going to fucking do that. So, uh, Vince shaved. ended up Vince ended up getting the freaking axe, so to speak, on yeah. that one. That was fucking hysterical. Do you remember when that? Uh, I can't remember who it was. That guy like punched the moderator from the Donald, like right in the face. Well, I, I don't remember that guy, so you know we might have to move on. No, like, uh, what well, you know? That's actually a pretty good question, uh, Asterius, If you're willing to answer, mm -hmm. I'm, you... I'm, I'm willing to answer everything. Oh, all Look, right, I'll be honest. This is the worst podcast I've ever <laughs> been on. This is this, this is what is we aim for. This is unusually bad. Is this the first time you guys have talked in like? eight years or something well no just just like just after months, the month maybe it's been a month yeah and we're coming back you know as strong as ever is this episode negative five of your show <laughs> how like many episode 50 you... isn't it uh it's it's getting near like 50 that? it's it's getting near 50 okay at now usually 50 episodes in four people wouldn't be talking over each other at every I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But no, no, no. <laughs> hey, listen. You can talk over me all you want. I'm just a guest. But you as hosts, how do you all? What's your flow? Well, let's talk about your dynamic. Do you? Let's have a little bit of. of let's do this podcast group therapy. Let's <laughs> Let me describe the, the dynamic room. for you, Asterius. Let's all go around the room. Riley, let's don't, all go around the room. don't interrupt him. Let's all go around, let, see, now this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Let's all go around the room and let's all say one nice thing we like about the person below us <laughs> in the Discord chat. So, Camel, you say something nice about Mo. Uh, okay, well, first of all, I'm not a host. This is the first time I've ever been on a MoCast. And uh, something nice about Mo is we had a very nice time chatting this one time when he was streaming on Twitch. Oh. He was uh, playing Skyrim, I think. Was it Skyrim? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. More than likely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we talked about some current YouTube news. Like, uh, I think we talked about how... Hmm, yeah, man. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to, like, you're, you're going to have to, like... Maybe clip that because I remember like talking about something pretty important. I've completely forgotten now. Okay, so now I asked you to say one nice thing about Mo, and yeah, like one you, on one. Instead, you brought up uh, some something that uh, it said you brought up just a conversation you guys had. Yeah, but that's yeah, okay. Like... That's okay. Let's move on now. Mo, you say something nice about Riley. Uh, I liked how he shows up usually on time to do these fucking shows. <laughs> Punctuality is important. <laughs> Thanks, Punctuality Mo. is important. You gotta care. You gotta care. Now, Riley, you say something nice about Robin. Robin, you're pretty cool. Okay, now again, that's a general description and not something nice about, but that's okay. We're all trying. And now finally, Robin, you say something nice about Mo. I get two for cool. Mo, I think. The consistency of your work is very impressive. You do a lot of things, and you do them very consistently. Thank you. Twitch streaming, podcasting, editing. 
Now you see when you say consistently, <laughs> what do you mean? Not by not that? negatively. <laughs> it's all, it's all the amount of things he does. He he does many things, and the fact that he can manage to do them all is very impressive. Consistency within a consistent is, manner. Consistency is important. Now let's review some of the compliments we've paid each other off. Punctuality, consistency. That one time we talked about something. I was gonna say some more, but you cut me off. Well, it's because you were taking forever to get to the point. Uh, now, um, now I'm noticing that no one's saying like, "Oh, you're really funny. You're really entertaining. I love talking to you." So now, now let's say now let's say something that maybe the the person below them could work on, like, uh, and let's go the opposite way. Oh, Mo, okay. what's something Robin could work on? Uh, oh boy. Mm -hmm. You know, honestly, I have. Z I don't space. really. I don't really have any complaints. Uh, uh Robin. Uh, uh, like straight up. Like, uh, uh, Robin's the reason why I even have uh, multiple uh, guests. Because Robin's oh. actually been. I, I think like what you got. Uh, I think you got in after uh, the AAC Riley and Bird Stark episodes where we we're talking about uh. Uh, drug use and homelessness and stuff with my buddy mm -hmm. I used to squat with in Austin and Houston and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you were in here about uh, uh, episode eight or nine. Wow, wow, it's been a long, what a long straight trip it's been. So oh. now, so now, Robin, what Mo is saying is. It's your fault that there's so many guests talking over each other. So this is your idea to make like this eight person clusterfuck of a jambalaya of a podcast. Robin, would you like to respond to Mo's insult? What the hell, Mo? I thought we were friends. Yeah, Mo. This is a safe space. Well, you know, you told me to be box. honest. Come on. You told me to be How honest. You say all those horrible things about me. Yeah, Mo. Come on. Robin's your friend. Well, I know, but, you know, like, you told me that this is a safe space, and if I opened up to you, maybe, you know, we get some progress, but I'm seeing that this is not how it's going to start off. No, or this is how it's going to keep going. Grand conspiracy. Safe spaces are only safe for those who are not mean. Yeah, it's like a one, it's like a one-way mirror. Like, well, one person gets to see things. Okay, so now, Riley, say something Sorry. nice about Mo. Wait, I thought we were doing negatives. Yeah. No, but now Mo needs something nice about him because we, we just roasted him. So Riley, <laughs> now you say something nice about Mo. Mo, you're really good at talking consistently for a very long time, and okay, not no, stopping, no matter what. Right. Okay, no. Literally, a monkey could do that. A monkey could do to talk consistently. You can't oh, say monkey. one nice thing. You can't say this guy's entertaining, interesting, has a good radio voice. I feel it's like serious. he just took my Why compliment and then made it worse. Both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're taking fucking <laughs> Robin's bit. Yeah, Riley, you took Robin's bit. <laughs> Riley, you Sorry. can't even come with an original compliment. <laughs> Which, by the way, we already established was an insult. Okay, now finally, Mo, yes. you give... Now finally, Riley, you give Robin a note. What's something Robin could work on? Um, you could work on... For example, maybe they cut off a hilarious punchline like uh, Cumio, like in the middle of it, <laughs> like the, a winning joke that would have like saved the episode and they just like stomp on it for a callback about baby nuts in an episode that has a thousand jokes about babies and nuts already. So we definitely need one more. Maybe you could say that. I don't know. I'm just brainstorming. Yeah, you, know, you see, Robin, Robin seems to have this tendency to perhaps uh, interrupt people when they're in the middle of making amazing... I never interrupt anybody. Okay. Excellent point, Riley. That's an, <laughs> Riley, Riley, that's the smartest, bravest thing you've ever said. Robin, I'm going to give you, you uh, uh, the, the floor to respond to Riley's vicious yet accurate insult. Look, I never insult... I never, I never interrupt anybody. It's never happened. You never, you never interrupt... Not ever. Never. But what about that one time that you? That I was. And there you go. You have learned not to interrupt. You see, I was doing like a classic bit where I was talking and hoping that you interrupt me, but that last time, when I when I was talking, you didn't. As you can see, we're already healing. We're already learning. This we're learning great. and growing. 
this is great. We're learning, we're, we're learning, we're doing, we're growing. Now, what's the, now a lot of shows these days have what we call a premise, which is like a reason to exist. Maybe we talk about the news. Maybe we just talk about our personal lives. Now, it seems like your guys' show is kind of almost entirely about babies and nuts and nutting babies. Now, is this a, <laughs> is this a weekly topic of conversation? You, you know what they, they call oh, it, it does the, seem the to happen. baby vocast for that thing. They don't call it that just for that. change it to the baby and nut cast. <laughs> yeah, because I think that's better for marketing purposes. Like, like right now, it's it's called the Mo Cast. Who's Mo? Why do I care? If I met Mo, would I care if he lived or died? Like, these are quick, but babies, <laughs> nuts. I like both of those things. Put them together. Baby nut. Mm, uh. I think I would no, probably something Jeffrey Epstein would say. I don't know if you put those two things together. Put them together. Mm, huh? <laughs> I, I, I think Mo, I, oh, no, but Mo, Mo, I want to give you, I want to give you room to respond. Mo. Okay. 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 <laughs> That's a great reply. <laughs> no, 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 Mo, Mo, no. Mo, it's your turn. You have no, the floor. No, no. Let's hear Mo out. Let's oh fuck! Oh, Mo okay. I, I thought I thought you were about to say something else, and I was giving you the floor to finish your sentence. My bad. My bad. That is again. We are making progress. Now we're creating space for each other, which is what <laughs> uh, which is what most people who've done fifty episodes of a podcast would have learned to do by now. This is good. This is great. Now, Mo. What's your response to us rebranding the show from a loser uh, brand like Mo to a winning brand, Nut Baby? I think uh, I think I'd rather ca David Carradine myself uh, than ever change the format of the show to babies and and, and baby nuts. You know, I just don't Mo, think I, I can, no interrupting. Moo! What did we learn about what did we learn about interrupting? Moo. What did we? I thought we were making progress. Mo, please continue. Uh, yeah, you're talking I, about how great my idea was and how you were definitely going to do it. Please continue. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, like that's that's exactly what I want to do. I, I want people to associate my brand with uh, babies and nuts, and sometimes mm -hmm. like a, a weird fucked up combination of the both of them. Because I don't see Put how anything, I don't see how anything could possibly go wrong. Uh, uh, from that, you know, uh, yeah, you know, fuck it. We'll, we'll, we'll reband the show and call it baby nuts because fuck it. It's, it's either this or I, I, I go fucking slowly insane because of lockdown. Now, have you considered yeah. changing your name to nut baby diggity? <laughs> nut baby diggity. <laughs> and changing the name of this discord server to like, to like nuts yeah, and cum. <laughs> The cum zone. The jizz cum nut zone. Just Wait, why is that so familiar, the cum zone? <laughs> oh my god, are you referencing that one video? Yes. Oh, well, dude, fuck that video. I know, I hate it. I know exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. I'm not Googling anything right now. I'm certainly not Googling the word cum zone. No, not at all. If we have a guest on, they could be a cumio. <laughs> You just made the same joke. That's really funny, incredible. Robin. Where did you come up with That's that? That's incredible. That's incredible. Who would have come up with that? I'm leaving this podcast better than when I came in. This, I'm a hero. This is great. That was a good one. That was a great like one. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. I, all right. I had one more. Now, Mo, earlier you said that uh, that you would rather David Carradine yourself than change your the brand. <laughs> Um, I would like to point out that every other time David Carradine choked himself, he came harder than an elephant in a china shop. I'm just letting you know. It feels good. David Carradine wasn't hanging himself and jerking off for nothing. 99% of the time, he was experiencing, like, an orgasm that was better than, like, than heroin and a, and a, and a new Star Wars movie combined. <laughs> just a fucking nut wrenching, eye-popping really orgasm. One of those things has much less value than the other. Except the last time. It didn't work out the last time. Yeah, I mean, it'll, it only takes you the one time to fuck up. Yeah, then it's game over. 
Well, remember all the times David Carradine didn't snatch the pebble from his master's hand? Well, true, true. Exactly. And then the last time he did, he was ready. Maybe he was ready to move on and meet the great scrat in the sky. Who knows? <laughs> oh, God, what if his foot accidentally slipped? Right, like, right before, like, you know, climax, he's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I mean, what, what if that fucking happened? That'd be, like, a hell of a thing to, you know, die from, you know? It's like you're yeah, talking to you, you're you're talking to fucking Saint Peter at the pearly gates. Like, so how'd you kill yourself? How'd you die? It's like, well, I chuck myself while I jack off, so I can it, it, I can uh, just have a seriously crazy powerful orgasm. You know, it's like, dude, you're probably getting like sent straight to hell for being a degenerate of some order. <laughs> or Saint Peter goes goes, oh, don't worry, I know exactly what you're talking about. And then you look down at his robes, and where's his belt? It's around his neck. He's hanging himself from those gates and coming like a freight train. And then he goes, get in here, you. Get in here. Why do you think heaven's so white? Anyway. Why do you think they call it the pearly gates? Get in here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. I think we'll go ahead and end it on that. Uh, wow. uh, Camo? Uh, I'm sorry. Being completely honest, though, I, I regret being a part of that. <laughs> No, Kevo, I'm just kidding. It's really Kevo, fun. Kevo, shut up. Anyway, yeah. no, Kevo, uh, but seriously, though, where can they find you? you have anything to hop? Go ahead and do it now. Uh, well, I have a YouTube channel. It's just search uh -huh. up Camel and then B and then the letters BFU, no spaces. You haven't gotten on board with the customizable URL thing yet? Uh, you know you can only have that if you have, like, 2,000 subscribers, though. No. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think I'm allowed to have uh, have that yet. Well, just search I, me up like it. that, or you know, she you could just, link disaster. it and if you're making this a YouTube video. All right, uh, Ra uh, 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 Riley, where can they find you at? You can find me on YouTube as Riley Brooks on Twitch, twitch.tv/slash Riley Streams, on Twitter at Riley Tweets, and I'll, I'll spare you all my million podcasts for now. All right, Next time. all right, Robert, where can they find you at? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Inside Alloy. I also stream on Twitch. You can find me on twitch.tv slash Inside Alloy. And All right. of course, you can subscribe to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Stereos. Oh, there you go. There you go. Great there fucking thing to do. I do it. I do it all every month. I'm part of the Sicker Club. It's fucking great. And of course, the Stereos, where can they find you at, bro? You guys can find me here from now on every week on the MoCast. <laughs> you yeah. guys, Hell yeah. you oh. clearly need. You need a little bit of help. Whenever the next, I'm coming on the next episode. Okay. I. Okay. This is podcast boot camp. The Hell three yeah. of you, when I am done with you, you are gonna go from what you are now, terrible, <laughs> to slightly better. <laughs> and I, that's the Asterios cognitive guarantee. So, listener, if you want to know where you can find me, you can find me on the next episode. Of the MoCast. Thanks for having me. <laughs> all Thanks right, buddy. All on. right. And, of course, you can find me at uh, MoDiggity42 on Instagram and YouTube and uh, uh, fucking Storyfire Parlor, whatever fucking bullshit that I'm not banned from because I don't have a Twitter anymore because I've been banned off there at least 20 fucking times because I run my mouth and I can't help it, blah, blah. And you can find me at twitch.tv slash MoDiggity, and you can check me out, uh, check my Patreon out at patreon.com forward slash mosai productions it's a little dead right now but we're gonna we're gonna relaunch it to my to our credit though and i'll tell you why this this episode was just so uh uh unorthodox uh is like we, we haven't done shit in like a month this is like us coming back from like a procrastination tr vacation trips and and, and work related stuff but hey procrastination dude, vacation Oh, dude, those are the, uh, those are the best. But uh, uh, straight up, dude, this is like one of my favorite episodes I've ever fucking done, man. Thank you so much, Asterios and uh, Camel, for coming on, man. Next week's is yeah, gonna be better. No I would let's talk schedule after this. You guys need help. I'll talk to you later. All right, later, bro. Yeah. All right, and see ya. All right, thanks everyone for coming out. So I'll see you guys. In the How next do you episode. stop the recording on the Craig thing? Uh, it, it, it stops when I am done with the outro. That's when it stops. Ah. <laughs> and I'm done, everyone. See you guys next week. I promise. I swear this time. Bye. Cool.